I'm choosing my own. Okay, so let me see. Hey, I've chosen first. <laughs> so it's not Basaba that I was choosing. It is so so at that time, if they picked and it was Basaba that I was taking, then it is the will of God. But after casting lots, the lot fell on Matthias. So in the end, Matthias was the one that was elected or chosen to replace Judas Iscariot. And he was enrolled with the apostles. So sometimes the essay question they ask, uh, how was Matthias enrolled with the apostles? Then you give all the details from Peter getting up to speak up to the time the Lord was casted and he was enrolled with the apostles. Once again, I always tell you that in answering CRS essay questions, once you read the question and you get to know that this is what the question is talking about, in this case, the replacement of Judas Iscariot, then give the full details. It's supposed to be a full and complete essay. You get it. Huh. Sometimes in the objectives too, they can ask uh, the reason why Matthias, the reason why Matthias, sorry, was chosen was because then the possible answer would be the, the correct answer is he was with Jesus and the apostles. At least throughout Jesus' every ministry, he was with them. And he was with them, or the apostles, until the ascension of Jesus, or when Jesus was taken up. So there are videos, no, sorry, there are questions. What's the past questions in the description? So please, you can take a look at them. Now, one subtopic under this is factors to consider when choosing a Christian leader. And that's a subtopic under this. So for the B part of the question in your essay. So uh, 6A can be how was Matthias enrolled with the apostles? And 6B can be mention three factors to consider when choosing a Christian leader. And as we can see from the examples, one of them is the fact that the leader should have experience. See, they were looking for experience with Jesus. So, somebody who has been with Jesus for three years, that's three years of experience. Uh -huh. And secondly, the leader should be committed. A committed church member. Not somebody who just comes to church. But somebody who has demonstrated commitment with his or her personal Bible study or reading and prayer life. And it reflects the person's life at church committed. He must have demonstrated commitment to maybe participating duties in church, like a youth leader or women's fellowship leader or a singing band leader or music ministry leader, choir leader or whatever it is. You know, the way the person goes about the job shows the level of commitment. So the person must be a committed you know, church member. If you're watching me, you're a student, please don't just be going to church. Study the word of God personally for yourself. Pray personally for yourself. And in the church, get something doing. Be involved. When they're calling for people to come and play the role, a role in a drama or something, they are looking for people to keep the church clean. They're looking for people to serve in any position at all, whether secretary or president or vice president, treasurer, prayer secretary, organizer. Avail yourself. Do something for God. It builds your experience and it shows how committed you are to the things of God. The leader should also live an exemplary life. You should live an exemplary life too. And you must be bold. Exemplary life because you cannot preach A and do B. Practice what you preach. You must live an exemplary life. The people should learn from you. The people should learn prayer. From you. The people should be encouraged to read the word of God from you based on how serious you are or committed to the word of God and sharing it. People should learn from you. 
And also, you should be a committed, as in you should be dedicated to going to church. You must be a regular church attendant. At least going to church or attending church meetings, you learn a lot and you understand the ministry work. You understand how God or Jesus also related with the people because you are always in the meeting. So Matthias was somebody who was always with Jesus and the apostles, regular church attendance or congregational worship or attendance is key. Other factors could also be the fact that you should be an honest person. You should be honest or truthful in your dealings, not an azar kind of person. Uh -huh. And you must have a sense of humor, at least to bring down tension. When everybody is tensed and they are confused, you know, them, for being serious, you know, crack jokes, you know, let them laugh from time to time. It doesn't mean that you are not serious. When it gets to work, we work. But when it's something that we can laugh about, we laugh about it briefly. And then we continue. Uh -huh. And you should be bold or courageous. Because doing the work of God is not easy. Sometimes people will just attack you for nothing. You have to be bold. Sometimes your own people you are leading will rise against you. You have to be bold. You can be an evangelism committee leader. It involves preaching to unbelievers. Some unbelievers are very rude towards you. Some will like to even throw things at you and insult you. You have to be bold in order not to give up easily. You have to persevere. So that's it. As I said, there are what's questions in the video description. Take a look at them. If you have any question, you can ask too. This has been your CRS teacher, Sekwalo. Please subscribe. Share the video with your friends. Here, CRS is made simple. Thank you very much.